<laughs> Thanks for joining us for today's Mama Cooks show. Joining us also is our resident nutritionist and green living expert, Lucy Ashman. Thanks for coming. Hello, Mickey. Lucy's going to show us how to make a lean and easy meal in just a few minutes. Today we'll be cooking a chicken and vegetable stir fry with garlic and ginger with a side of brown rice. Okay, so where should we start? I think we should start with the rice because the rice takes the longest to cook. So as this is the whole grain rice, um, it takes a little bit more water and a little bit more cooking time than the usual white rice. What we have here is one cup of rice and two and a half cups of water. And it will take, after it's come to the boil, it will take approximately 25 to 30 minutes to cook. Um, what you need to do around about the 15, 20 minute mark is just double check to make sure that there is enough fluid. It will depend on how high the heat is turned up and how much water has evaporated. And just test the rice. Um, and then that's fine. So while that is going on, we can take a look at what we have over here. We have a selection of wonderful, colorful vegetables. Um, the more colorful they are and the more variety you have, the more nutrients you're actually getting into your meal. So we have some carrots. This is about approximately one carrot, um, about half a large zucchini, um, some squash peeled and diced. And you can also buy a lot of these things just chopped and um, frozen in your local supermarket. We have some long green beans, some broccoli florets. We're going to be also using some sesame seeds to give it a bit of extra flavor. And that's what we're going to be starting with in a moment. And the garlic and ginger. Now the garlic has been sliced very fine and the ginger has been grated. But alternatively, um, you can just Chop these all up in a small food processor and it'll give you the same effect. Also we have some nice red sweet pepper and some chopped up chicken breast. Nice kind of medium sized chunks there. So what we're doing here is just toasting the sesame seeds lightly. Just getting them light and brown and you may smell a slightly nutty flavour when they're about ready. Um, but it may be they, they don't smell very much because they tend to release more aroma once they've been ground and we won't be grounding them at this point. They pop they, like popcorn? They do pop like popcorn. <laughs> so, so yeah, just when they turn cover. golden brown. It's <laughs> 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 a good reason to keep them moving. <laughs> exactly. Same as popcorn again. It's a very hot eye. <laughs> we'll also be flavoring the stir fry with some... Um, you can basically use soy sauce or you can use a soy sauce alternative and we'll be cooking with some sesame seed oil. But if you don't have it or you'd prefer, you can also use olive oil and it tastes All right, great. those are good to go. The sesame oil will just give it a little bit extra sesame flavor. Perfect. So okay. now we're just going to add the dash of oil. And you don't need a lot good. of oil for a stir fry. No, you don't. With a stir fry, the objective is to kind of keep the vegetables, to cook them, but to keep them nice and crispy. So you don't lose many of the nutrients. Um, and so, in addition to that, they should keep their colors. So it should make a nice, beautiful plate. Good. So we start with the garlic and the ginger. And then you just turn down just a flavor. little bit. Yeah, I did. And here we're going to be just flavoring the oil for a little while, and then we'll remove this so that it doesn't burn. Again, just like the sesame seeds, we need to kind of just mix it up a little. And I'll the stir there. the rice to make sure. Yeah, it's boiling well now. The smell of the combined garlic and ginger is already delicious. delicious. And right now what we're doing is basically just flavoring it. I think that's very nearly ready. After this, we'll be popping in the chicken. If you don't have sesame oil, you can just use a vegetable oil or an olive oil. Yeah, right? ideally olive oil because then you get the most benefits out of it with the omega-3 um, content. And again, try to make sure that you use a virgin or an extra virgin olive oil, but not the cold press variety. Okay. Good. Turn down the rice bit too. Probably take that out. Good. Just 
very lightly brown. And here, as we have quite a bit of vegetables, we'll just add a very small touch more sesame oil. That'll warm up very quickly because the wok is already very hot. And we start with the chicken. The chicken? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can also use tofu, right? If you yeah, you can if you wanted to kind a of vegetarian have, option. Yeah. And you didn't just want to have the vegetable. You certainly do tofu. Good. Yeah. We'll just kind of lightly do this before we throw mm -hmm. in the. I'll carrots take care next, of that. The carrots do take generally mm -hmm. the longest after the chicken. The idea is as well to basically add their vegetables in more or less in the order that they cook or the length of time that they take to cook. So we go with the carrots next. Okay. Yeah, because they're the most exactly the hardest vegetables. We'll do the squash. So again, what you also get from this meal is that with the chicken as the protein, the vegetables will help your body to digest the protein in, in the most efficient way. And then the whole grain rice will give you the complex carbs to complement the meal and balance it out. There's also a range of um, nutrients in all these vegetables, from iron and fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, folic acid, um, you name it really, plenty of antioxidants. So we cook this so the chicken is white, just on the outside, right? Yeah. And then yeah. start adding a few more vegetables. Okay. So we go with the squash mix. See, it's already this getting a little more colorful. Beautiful. And I think we can follow with the broccoli, especially as green beans are especially nice when crunchy. Mm -hmm. And so you can cover to help it steam for a minute. Exactly. And you also just want to make sure you give each vegetable a couple of minutes each to make sure that they kind of warm up nicely and start to cook before um, putting the next one in. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, it looks beautiful already. Yeah, let's add a little bit of green, shall we? All right. Some broccoli fleur. I probably don't need this many, but it's kind of to taste. Whatever your favorite vegetables are, feel free to just kind of like pop them in. Right, more the merrier. And when do we add the soy sauce? We add the soy sauce once all the vegetables are in. Okay. Um, so that they can all start to absorb the flavor and it doesn't all just evaporate out. And then if need be, at the end, we can just taste it again and see if it needs a little bit more to the taste. And today we're not actually using regular soy sauce. We're using we're using a soy sauce. Well, we're using a soy sauce alternative that's actually still made of soy. Um, it's full of liquid aminos and it's made of unfermented soy. It's starting to get tender, as are the carrots. We like it a little crunchy anyway. Exactly. So which vegetable would we add next? I think we're going to add the zucchini in. This okay. gets nice and... This one is actually nice and soft and tender. It's very juicy. And we're just adding in a lot of different shapes and uh, sizes as well, just to give a little bit more texture. And Aesthetically pleasing exactly. food as well. Beautiful. So after the zucchini, we don't have to wait very long because that one does cook quite quickly and we can just add a nice handful of the green beans. And we're adding these close to the end because we like them crunchy. Yeah. If you like yours delicious. cooked a little more. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Um, in fact, you can actually go ahead and add the, the red pepper. The red pepper at the same time now. Beautiful. And we let and those in big chunks because they cook 
quite quickly, and we like the crunch. Yeah. <laughs> Very juicy and sweet. And so once this is cooked just a little longer, we're going to um, add the garlic and the ginger back in again. And around that same time, we'll be adding the soy sauce. A couple of minutes. How's the rice coming along? It's, it's actually quite a ways <laughs> from being cooked because it's brown rice. It does take a while. Luckily, we do already have some pre-prepared brown rice. Another good option, um, you can buy lots of um, pre-cooked or parboiled sort of half-cooked rice that, that cooks much quicker. And you can also buy the, the, the brown rice in, um, in those varieties to make this a faster meal. I also store rice in my fridge for up to a few days um, so I can have it with more than one meal. But brown rice does indeed use, require more water and more time. However, on the same note, the stir fry is definitely best eaten fresh. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I would say it's about time to add the garlic and ginger. What okay, do you think? add that back in. And the sesame seeds that we toasted earlier, we'll just add at the very, very end. So that's the just last touch of soy sauce. The garnish. Mm -hmm. And it still so. adds a little flavor to the, to the finished meal. So do we add some soy sauce so now we to We do cook? indeed. Mm. Or your soy sauce alternative, whichever you prefer. A nice good dash of that so it gets into everything. And you don't really need any other condiments with this because the soy sauce is salty enough. It's salty enough. Although, depending on which kind, if you're using an alternative, chances are it has less sodium, but it still has the salty flavor. Flavor, exactly. Um, and good. the garlic and ginger give lots of flavor. Okay. And that last touch of the toasted sesame seeds give a nutty finish. And also just a little additional iron, fiber, and vitamin A. That's why I like to cook with Lucy, because she knows why. Everything is so good for you. <laughs> oh, it looks and smells delicious. And really the only added fat here is the bit of oil that we Which use. Is good fat anyway. Yes. The chicken is very lean. Stay away from margarine or any other trans fat. Um, but yeah, olive oil or sesame oil. It's great. And we use them sparingly as well when trying to cook lean, but don't be afraid of them. I think no. that looks quite tasty. Do you have any more soy sauce? It smells pretty good. Mmm. Yeah? Have the sesame seeds in or what? Sure. Okay, so I think we're just about ready. Um, this is looking very good, nice and crunchy, but also cooked. Um, we've got the rice over there, and we just have a little sprig of cilantro or coriander, um, just to basically break up and add into the last bit, because it goes so well with the ginger. Just add in the sesame seeds now. Give them one last stir. And we're good to go. Just making sure that they get a little bit of that flavoring. Mm-hmm. All right. And you can always add more of your soy sauce or exactly. soy sauce alternative to Have taste. Have a quick taste and see what you think. Good. I normally serve this on the ta with the soy sauce on the table as well. For yeah, me. very good idea. So everyone can add it just like salt or pepper. Yes. And as you can see, um, it's still retained most of the color of the vegetables, so it's still a very colorful meal, which also means that it's retained most of its nutrients. So it's just beautiful. We'll put some on the plate. Gorgeous. All the colors. It delicious too. It's sure to be. Perfect. Excellent. Nice. Lean and easy. 
in just a few minutes. Thanks once again for showing us a quick and easy way to cook lean and easy. Thank you very much for having me with you. Thank you for joining us. See you again next time.